So what happens to um, a woman after 35 during perimenopause? Uh, what happens to their menstrual cycle? Well, as I stated before, uh, what happens with a woman over 35, the hormones, they fluctuate. They're up and down. The, one of the most important hormones that women have, of course, estrogen is the dominant female hormone because it makes you feminine. But there's another hormone that kind of works with estrogen to balance out the systems in the body called progesterone. Now, after 35, a woman can have a period every month, but she would notice it's either shorter, it's longer, uh, the cramping's worse, it's irregular, they may skip a few months. What's happening is that the eggs, they're not good quality. When you ovulate, you have to ovulate or pass that egg to get pregnant to make progesterone. So I give this scenario to my patients. Imagine a garbage can full of eggs or a basket full of eggs. So early in your life, once you pick an egg off the top, those eggs are great. But what happens at the end when you're over 35, those eggs are on the bottom of the basket or in the bottom of the barrel. So what happens over years, they get cracked. They kind of spill the yolk. The egg whites are no good. And so what's happening is you're scraping the bottom of the barrel over 35. That's why the incidence of childbirth defects are so high because the egg quality is not good anymore. And if the egg quality is not good, then you're not producing progesterone, which gives you those other wonderful benefits of libido, bone building, weight control, mood stabilization, helps with asthma, migraine headaches, you name it. Progesterone is one of the most unsung heroes that we as functional medicine practitioners love to treat.